Hello, hello, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Stars with Stasi, where no matter who or what you are on this cosmic journey, you are welcome here. I'm Stasi, your trusted psychic, intuitive reader, and fellow Scorpio. This is our reading for October 13th through the 19th, or whenever you come across this message, it's meant for you. Now, before we get started, I do want to take a moment and just have all of us as a community of light workers put our energy and our positive intentions, our healing vibrations for anyone who has experienced loss, discomfort, dis-ease as a result of the natural hurricane disasters that have been occurring um, to the, the many losses that have taken place, those known and unknown. We do put our energy into healing that community and we wish you comfort, ease, and security during this difficult time of transition. So mote it be. Thank you, Scorpio, for your energy and time, and may the universe find you also whole as a healer again. We are being called. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. This will be chaptered. So um, we will start off with a general message for Scorpio. Then we will look at our creation, finances. Then we'll take a look at relationship for those of us in relationship and single, and for those of us in separation. We'll take another look at the shadow work for this week and what we can manifest. And guys, don't forget we have a very powerful full moon on the 17th of this month. This is a no nonsense full moon, right? <laughs> this is an Aries. This is no joke. This is happening in our sixth house. So talk about knowing yourself. This is where we let go of our addictions. This is where we let go of the heavy. Um, we're going to take a look at our daily routines, right? What's preventing us from getting the job done, the thing done that we have been striving for? Um, what's causing the exhaustion? What's causing the blockage? And so you can expect to have a lot of that information brought to light, right? And I think that we all know for the most part, it's deep down inside what is going on, but this is like next level. It is actually going to be a huge push. Um, it's also going to be a huge push to get your health in order, right? And so we're going to take a better look at that now, Scorpio. Number 52, the scarab beetle spirit magic works through you. Number 52 reduces to the number seven, a very spiritual number, but it's also a number of enlightenment and change. Um, I see that as the number five. So let's break this down. The number five is about adventure, change and disruption. And number two is about duality in relationships. So there could be something here. You could be manifesting a, um, a new partner and we're going to look into that. Or you could be just definitely manifesting who you are independently in relationship as you show up. And again, magic works through you. So this is also a time of intuition and spiritual ascension, Scorpio. We've got number nine, brown bear spirit. Take a time out. So like I said, <laughs> light workers are absolutely being called to task. We are going to be asked to step forward with so much heaviness that's happening right now. This next few months, a lot, depending on where you live, um, well, actually, I do believe it will be more globally. This will be a time of deep ascension and people going inward because of the misinformation that will be revealed in the weeks to come. So take that how it resonates, Scorpio. Everyone will see the light differently. Okay, so again, this is a general message. And if you are looking for a personal reading, please head over to my website at starswithstasi.com. All right, the shadow self. Again, the, like I said, I started off the reading with this is going to be a very introspective time. Um, a lot has happened in the last week or so, Scorpio. So, you know, comment below and let me know how you've been experiencing the new moon we had, the eclipse season, all of that. But all of that disruption, all of that um, inward 
view of yourself after really witnessing some heavy truths, finding out things you did not expect. Um, all of that was to lead you to this very moment where you say to yourself, what is the best version of me? What does that look like? And what do I need to do to make that happen? King of Pentacles shows up as I speak on the longevity of your benefit or the longevity of your, um, <clears throat> what should I say? Your legacy is the word I'm looking for. So I've got the star card coming through Aquarius energy. This is also major arcana and the hope after the tower, right? So this is the light after the tower is the star card. And so that's telling me that there is better ahead for us, but it is going to take us giving giving up something of ourselves, um, something that we have found comfort in, but I'm hearing it was a false comfort. So again, we go back to your daily habits, addictions, where are you giving your time and energy to? Is it to a relationship that isn't going to feed you back? Is it to people that aren't, um, really understanding your value? Are you an option versus the, the, the main, focus, right? Um, and then I've got three of pentacles and the king of pentacles. I also feel your Scorpio, but even a bigger message here is this is going to be an opportunity where you really start recognizing your gifts and you find yourself out in community and being more authentic. Um, in these cards, and I'm going to have to be careful about how I hold them up, but in this deck, the star card here and this person here, they're both nude, right? I just have them covered for the purposes of the algorithm. But, you know, this is telling me that this is you really getting that wish, that wish fulfillment of your people. You find community, you start to kind of come out and look for the others, so to speak. I see you also being in the right place at the right time and making important connections this month. Um, more towards the weekend is what I'm feeling. Um, and with this King of Pentacles as well, this could be someone new coming into your life. But the way I see it is this is more or less about what it is that you're going to do, the foundation that you're building for yourself. Um, and again, that shadow self as a theme of this week, this work right here can be exhausting. And we all know that. So when we get back to this brown bear spirit of take a time out, I feel like that's going to be really important towards the middle of the week. The closer we get to the full moon, um, Ace of Pentacles just flipped out, which I like a lot. So I just heard also that some of you may be moving. Um, clearly, if you are have been affected by the storms, then yes, that would apply to you. But other than that, I feel like some of you may receive an opportunity that's going to take you elsewhere, which is exciting, right? Because when we have the star card with the Ace of Pentacles, this is a brand new opportunity that you've been wanting. This is something that puts you in alignment with your purpose after a period of just what seemed to be the never ending nightmare, right? Because in my mind, I'm seeing the nine of swords. So let's go ahead and clarify this three of Pentacles, please. One moment. And Scorpio also, our season is just around the corner. So this is an important time for us where so many, as we approach our solar return, are looking at... Oh that we are looking at what's holding us back, Eight of Swords. So, you know, the Three of Pentacles, I would say this, that some of us may be um, reaching out to a therapist, a healer. Um, you may be looking for a Reiki session, a tarot reading, and, you know, and to come see me. But <laughs> in all fairness, you may be looking for an astrology reading, right? As we come to our solar return, this is an amazing time to work with someone else to learn more about yourself and get out of your own way, right? Your astrology has so much to do with the blueprint of your life. I mean, it is the blueprint, right? And when you understand that, you can make preparations and work with the energy. But again, whatever healing modality calls to you, it's because it's for you. And I really think this is an amazing time to explore that because by the time February rolls, <laughs> by the time February rolls around, this is going to be a completely different stage, the world stage, right? So, you know, again, <clears throat> keep in mind that depending on where you live, or I was saying before, globally, we can definitely expect to see some clarity on issues that have been hidden and as within, so without. So what we see on the world stage is often reflected back to us in the, you know, in our home. 
two cards came out and I'm going to take them. Um, I've got the her three cards came out. Interesting. I am going to take them. So to clarify the King of Pentacles, I have the Hermit card, the Sun card, and the Magician, which is fascinating because these are three major arcana cards. And this is telling me actually that not only are you getting like a wish fulfillment, right? There's something here where you get a new beginning that you've been wanting, but it's also that this gives you pause because big changes come as a result. And again, this is the magician showing up and you receive that card in the very beginning when I said that the magic works through you. So Scorpio, you are in manifestation mode, which is amazing because honestly, Scorpios are very, very magical. And I'm seeing, I'm seeing right now that more, more and more of us are being called, um, to get into our occult studies and to understand more esoteric things. Um, I see a lot of you taking a time out this week and really reassessing again, where it is that you're putting your energy and time because you do have your future to think about. There's a lot of estate planning. I think this carries over from last week as well. So again, this is a general reading and won't resonate with everyone, but ultimately the week ahead, the general vibe is potentially, um, some unexpected plans. I would say that more unexpected, um, because this is an opportunity that kind of comes out of nowhere that you've been wanting. I also see that a lot of us are going to be seeking third party, working with others to kind of help better ourselves as we are looking at our daily habits, right? So like I said, you could go seek therapy, uh, natural healing. You might join a gym, you might join a community, right? There's something there where this week brings you the people that help you get out of your own way. And then as we end the week, we're looking at the King of Pentacles with the Hermit card, the Magician and the Sun. And it's, again, I feel like you've really taken some time this week and, and, and considered all the things that are going on around you. And you've maybe looked at the deeper meaning for those things. And uh, as a result, I see that there is a lot of freedom also is what I'm feeling. There's something about a decision you make this week, Scorpio. And as I pick up the career and uh, creation cards, as I pick that up, I'm really feeling that there are a good handful, maybe 30 to 40% of you that have walked away from your career um, in, or were walked away from a, a job, so to speak. Interesting. Okay, one second, please. Let's get our energy for our finances, our career. What can Scorpio expect this week for our creations? Two cards. Thank you. Interesting. I just said about freedom. Freedom comes out. I love that. I'm no joke, Scorpio. I can see it. All right. Freedom. You need to have more flexibility with your schedule and income. Being self-employed is ideal. Time off will help you get clear. There's something here, Scorpio, about this week you make some big decisions and you do take a time out. An opportunity comes your way and it's one that you have really wanted. And this reads unfolding. I love this. Access to greater prosperity is opening up for you slowly. Look at that imagery, right? So look at that. Think of a flower. Think of a plant. Think of Angela and how large she's gotten since we've started this channel. <laughs> All right. Access the greater prosperity. Access to greater prosperity is opening up for you slowly. You are growing as you learn more and keep expanding. What you want wants you. And it's your path to freedom, whatever that looks like, because there are so many options ahead of us, but we have been widely programmed and trained to believe that we have to live life a very specific way. And the older you are, the more true that is for you. So I would urge you to, to look at your life differently. Look at really what's happening around us, right? We've gone through some major things as a society. Um, you know, the health crisis, so to speak of the 2019, 2020, and then we also, okay, this is great. Three came out. And then we've also had these experiences and we're also going to see even more things come. So I feel like this is a time to take stock into what's important for you. 
Ace of Cups, Page of Swords, Eight of Cups. Interesting, Scorpio. So Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles showing up for us. So Ace of Cups, this is like, uh, I feel like you, your passion is set on a new path forward. Like you really are learning about yourself, what it is that you want to do and where you've just spent too much time with something else. The other thing that's loosely coming through for a very small amount of you, but I feel it, somebody's um, entertaining an office romance. And so I would just say to you, be careful because page of swords, I think that people are on to you. So there will be a change made. If that applies, comment below because one of you will be leaving the the workplace in order to maintain, um, I'm hearing to save face. So I don't know if one of you is in a power, a position, position of power. Um, but that's what I'm picking up. Now, moving away from that energy respectfully, I would say that this is more or less, you've been doing your due diligence. You've had your eye on an opportunity and you're taking um, the chance because it's really calling to you. It's almost like that urge of, you know what, I have to do this because if not now, when? <laughs> 10 of wands. You're on your way like basically back to your purpose. You're on your way home. And this is going to be the end of a difficult journey. Many of us have been looking for steady employment, looking for a place to call home, looking for our soul tribe, whatever that is that you've been looking for. I feel like now is a time that you find that passion, that purpose, and you say, I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm going to take the chance because I'm worth it. And if I'm going to live life for another year, for another five, for another 80, whatever it is, right, I'm going to do it with purpose and I'm going to do it with excitement and I'm going to do it because I want to. And that's the main thing. This is like the I want to era. <laughs> and it doesn't make you selfish. It makes you self-aware. And the more self-aware you are, the better of quality of life you lead. And again, this is a universe. And in order to be your best version, you have to be whole and complete. Page of Swords being clarified by the Empress. Whatever you're getting yourself into is really going to yield great results. Um, so also, I don't know why this is coming up. I'm sorry, Scorpio. But again, with that office romance, be mindful that if you're not looking to make a family with this person currently, then you should take some time and make preparations to be careful because I see that that is a possibility, which would be a huge reason that somebody would need to go quickly. So um, potentially depending on what type of environment you work in. Now, with the Empress and the Page of Swords, this is coming through again as like you've been doing your research, you've been looking for different ways to do things, you get some communication and it's a big deal. Because now that we see the Empress here and we have earlier the King of Pentacles, whatever you're getting into, I feel is like empire worthy. And I do have this feeling that Scorpios, again, are gonna be going viral if you are out there on the net. Um, even if it's unintended, like maybe this isn't your path, right now, but you start documenting a health journey and it becomes viral, right? There's something there. So whatever it is that you feel called to do out of left field, go for it because it's what is going to excel your path. So eight of cups, let's look at that one. Why the eight of cups for Scorpio when we're looking at our creations and finances? Where is Scorpio headed? Eight of cups, let's clarify, please. <clears throat> Eight of Cups clarified by the Three of Cups. You're moving forward and this is an amazing thing, right? Because this is saying you take a chance and it's a celebration. So if you're leaving a company, it's a celebratory thing. It's because you're starting your own and, and you're leaving with, on a high note, things are going well and in your favor. Um, or you've been waiting for that big break. You've been waiting to hear back and it happens and this is a celebration. Um, Again, I'm kind of seeing something there at work that gets celebrated um, and it's because you are moving forward or there's, again, you you hear back from that, uh, that job interview or you hear back about a raise. There's something that goes really good for you that allows you to take a deep breath this week. Um, and I feel like this could be more towards the middle of the week as well. Additionally, 
this ties into that sixth house full moon in Aries because of the new changes, because of this new incoming energy, you do need to make changes to your schedule. You know, you're going to be waking up earlier, for example, or you're going to be working, um, Monday through Friday instead of from home, whatever the case is, who knows, but there is a change here that requires you to rework your day in and day out but it actually goes really, really good for you. The other thing I'm getting before I get into the, um, the relationship portion of this reading is for those of you that have recently had any health, um, scans, blood work, all those things, or like a recent upset. Again, it was to put you on track for your daily routine, but I am getting that a majority of us are getting some really good news, unexpected, but good news. You know, that medication you've been waiting for is approved. Um, something is covered by insurance unexpectedly. Um, you hear something back from a third party about something you were wanting to, to do that has a direct effect effect on your health, right? There's something here. So congratulations, Scorpio. Again, 10 of wands, a difficult road is about to come to an end light at the end of the tunnel. You're able to put down these burdens. It feels a lot lighter. You hear good news about a relative who, who survived a storm, right? If things like that happen this week, things are coming forward. So keep that in mind. Now, Scorpio, we're going to get to the portion of this experience where we talk about relationships and the way I do this. We're going to break it down first for those of us that are single and looking or in relationship, what that might say. And then we'll look at the Chismosa cards. And that's for those of us that are in separation and don't know what's going on. And again, those cards do not lie and neither do I. Lo siento if your feelings get hurt. So I have here a time to remember. Look back on your childhood. Interesting. Some of you might be um, making a full circle back to someone who, um, who you knew from back in the day. Specifically, for example, I'm hearing, let's say you do live in an area that's been affected or something of that nature or someone that you haven't seen in a long time comes back to your area because they had to be displaced from the storm. Just hear me out because that's coming through. And that it's somebody you haven't seen or there's a reunion or a holiday party, something here where you see someone and maybe you find out there is a spark there after all. The next card I pulled out was truth. Interesting, Scorpio. Someone's going to confess their feels for you this week. It's about damn time because it is our birthday season and you know, we're going to have them lined up. So if you're a cross watcher and you're trying to get your Scorpio, you better, you better make that phone call and make those plans. All right. Number one, a time to remember, look back on your childhood and the truth. You might find out, like I said, that someone's got feels for you. And I mean, you might be the one, you know, that flew out. You might be the one saying as much. Oh, listen, somebody's planning what they're going to say to you. Hold on, Scorpio, one more. Hmm. Interesting. We've got the seven of swords, the nine of pentacles, and the seven of pentacles. Okay, interesting. So look, some of you are really wondering, like, is this dating gig worth it? You know, you're happy, you're independent, you're in your nine of pentacles, you're feeling pretty good about things, and you're wondering, like, is is all this worth it? You know, it's been difficult, and then you have people that you're not trusting coming in and out of your life. And it's interesting. There is a lot of energy here for that. And because I see the truth card over here, I feel like you're looking for something more authentic. Um, so let's see how that clarifies because Scorpio, in many ways, this is telling me two things. One is you've been through it and you've learned to build yourself all the way up, putting you a little bit on the defensive. Um, on the other thing that I'm picking up as well is that someone's considering coming towards you, but is also a bit intimidated by what it is that you might say. Um, maybe that they've done you wrong, or like if this is somebody you know, like maybe they've done you wrong or they don't know. I don't know. There's somebody here like really crafting their words and they've kind of been keeping, um, keeping things to themselves. They're in a difficult position. Interesting. 
So, okay, let's clarify one moment. So for those Scorpios, Ace of Cups, and we have an Ace of Cups in the very beginning, right? Ace of Cups, there's somebody coming towards you, Scorpio. So let's look. Why the Seven of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles? More Sevens. Wow. So I had a few cards flip over and I had the Two of Cups flip over and the Seven of Cups, but it was too many. But that would be the third seven. So you could be seeing 777, seven, seven, which is also very lucky, <laughs> a very lucky number. Um, so interesting. So why the Seven of Swords? I just saw the Eight of Cups twice as well. So I think somebody feels like maybe <laughs> Seven of Swords is coming through as the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody's taking a really long time to come towards you. And it might feel like things are taking forever. But I feel like this week something's going to happen, pushing a person forward. So interesting, Scorpio. Some of you are having, like I said, somebody kind of come back from the past. Um, I didn't expect that in this reading, but it's very possible with the... Okay. I'm seeing a lot of repetitious numbers. So we had three sevens come up. And now to clarify the nine of pentacles, I've got the nine of cups. You're being seen as very independent. Um, and I also see the knight of cups and the three of pentacles. This is somebody who um, feels like they could really build something with you and they have good intentions coming towards you. You could be dealing with somebody who's slightly younger. Um, and I saw a water sign. Interesting, the seven, guys, the seven of pentacles is clarifying the seven of pentacles. That's four sevens in the relationship reading. And then we've got, <laughs> we've got two nines. And I would just say that this is an end of an era of some sort. Some things are coming to an end. Um, and I don't mean in relationship. This is where like you're putting an end to maybe the way you see yourself in relationship. I, I have this energy coming through is that you're feeling more independent and you're taking things to the next level, meaning that you're upping your game. If somebody wants to spend time with you, they're going to have to make the intentional time. Um, and they're going to have to plan things out because I have with this Knight of Cups that somebody wants to come towards you, but, or I said Knight of Cups because I saw that earlier, but the Knight of Pentacles, like somebody wants to come towards you, but they're really trying to put their words together. And I also get this feeling that if you are online, that someone's kind of keeping tabs on you from afar. Um, and you do, you come across very independent and very much um, confident. And that is, don't change that Scorpio, not for anyone, but that sometimes can have people kind of, um, watching you from afar, planning the next move. Um, other than that, I would say that some of you are definitely dealing with somebody who's kind of weighing their options as well, which is fascinating. Um, I think that's what the barrier is. And also for you, I feel like there's an energy here of even when this person comes towards you, you do seem to have a lot going on. So, you know, I feel like this is a time where you weigh out your options and, and I'm hearing, can you fit this into your life right now? And I think that there is a path ahead for those of you that want it. And I feel like, again, introspection leads to the truth of things. And maybe you do take a look back at your relationships in the past and wonder, you know, what it is that you're willing to um, get yourself into, for lack of a better word. But I do feel, again, there is someone coming towards you, but maybe they're a little bit hesitant. So um, I don't know, Scorpio, you know, we tend to want people who are um, pretty confident. So let's see how it goes. All right. Now, for those of us in separation, right, you haven't talked to a person, you've been ghosted, you don't know what happened, you might be the cross watcher. These Chismosa cards, okay, they're the gossip cards, they lay it out. So let's look at it. Now, if you're a cross watcher, these energies could be reversed, but please keep in mind, do not shoot the messenger and Scorpios do not like to be spied on. So you're going to get the truth here. All right. What do we have for Scorpios in separation? What can you tell me? What is their person thinking? What's happening? Let's pull three cards and then clarify with three more. One, 
two and three. And then let's clarify, please. One, interesting. Two and three. Let's see what the T is. The heat between us is intense. I don't blame you, Crosswatcher. Look, if you're only staying with the Scorpio for the, the heat, I don't blame you. You're welcome. The heat between us is intense. I am stuck in visions of us together. So you have done it to somebody, Scorpio. You have laid it down on them and they can't get you out of their head. But why aren't they coming forward? What is the problem? Let's see. I can't promise you anything. Your energy is intoxicating and it's pulling me in. Interesting because we have that seven of pentacles that I saw earlier. And so what I'm wondering is, are some of you recently meeting someone and then you're feeling like, is this worth it? Are they going to put in the energy? Am I going to put in the energy? It's a lot of hesitation here because it looks like somebody's in this position where maybe they are going through whatever, right? And they're saying, I can't promise you anything. Maybe they're in a relationship or maybe they're doing whatever, right? And then, and here it says, but your energy, Scorpio, is intoxicating and giving this person pause, making them want to come back in. So, you know, it seems to me that there is something here where the person that you were with is actually can't stop thinking about you, but it's a lot about the physicality of it all so far. Now, here we have I'm on my way to you. No one understands me but you. So you may have made an impact on someone. I feel that because the intimacy, right? Because that's what I'm getting these vibes. Because the intimacy was so intense, uh, people tend to feel more vulnerable and say more truths in these moments, right? Of passion. So it could have been that you had a very deep, sensual conversation with someone during that time. And as a result, like they can't get that out of their minds. There's something about you, Scorpio. I think that I mean, we all know as Scorpios, we're very, very intense and we're very to the point and we want to know and we can tell when you're lying. We can, we can tell, right? But we are also eighth house creatures and sometimes all of that goes to shit and we still get involved <laughs> because we are that way. Now, I would just say to you, if you're a cross watcher, understand that yes, Scorpio is a very intimate sexual uh, creature, but there has to be a level of depth in order for it to have longevity. And if you are a Scorpio and you are, um, you know, in separation from someone, I would say that perhaps it might be quite a bit for this other person. And there's a lot of processing that's going to take place. Will you wait for this person? That's really an independent decision because right now it does seem that they are really unable to promise you anything. So if you are in an open relationship, open environment, dating multiple people, and that's not an issue for you, you know, then that's fine. That might work. But if you're looking for a romantic committed one-on-one -on -one with this person, it doesn't appear that that's something that they're in a position to do. And you have to understand Scorpio that that's just what happens with humans. I mean, think of how often we go inward and are unavailable. So better that you have that information about what the relationship truly is and what it is not. And that way you can make decisions on where it is that you want to spend your time. So not a necessarily bad thing here, right? I mean, you've left an impression on the people or person that you've intertwined with in the past. And Scorpio, you know, People often can't stop thinking about those intimate conversations, those intimate moments. Um, there's always something about the way we handle things because we are always next level. So that leaves a mark on many or a few. I mean, you know what I mean? It leaves a mark on the people <laughs> that came out wrong. All right, Scorpio, <laughs> let's look at the shadow work for this week, shall we? All right. Asking versus telling number 21. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Number 21 reduces to three. So <clears throat> one, two, three, asking versus telling. That's interesting. Two things came up pretty quickly. One is allow the magic to unfold. 
So you meet someone new and you're getting to know them, right? Um, allow things to unfold slowly, right? Naturally. Um, sometimes we do get into detective mode and we're like, so where were you born? What did you do? And how long were you there? And da -da 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 -da, right. And it's, it can be a lot. So consider that. And that's just one message that came through. The other thing, Scorpio, is I feel that this week, as you are examining yourself and how you want to move forward with these new opportunities and how it is that you want to prepare yourself for your solar return, I feel that part of this energy is going to be learning about what it is about yourself that you've been telling yourself that's true and what you've been telling yourself that's false. Like what are the stories you're telling yourself and where do you need to ask more questions of yourself to determine if the identity that you are stepping into is one that you've built or one that's been programmed by others, right? Have you really disassembled yourself and said, wait a minute, if I was giving a blank slate, I would live this life all over again, or I would make that choice all over again versus um, this is something I've been taught ever since I was born and I just accept it. There's a lot of challenging here, but it's also why are you challenging things. Don't get swept up in, um, I'm also hearing don't get swept up in the things that you see in the media. Interesting. Um, and again, ask a lot of questions. Don't just allow and accept things as is. Interesting. That's been something that I keep feeling. Um, and you know, I feel like I might even make just a separate video on predictions for the end of the year. Um, because I've just gotten so many hits and there's going to be a lot of needing to ask the proper questions and needing to listen to others when they tell you their experience, because some of us are so firm in our beliefs. It's hard to imagine that something else is occurring, especially when our algorithms reflect back to us exactly what we put out. It's this false sense of, yeah, the world's exactly what I think it is. So be mindful that a lot of clarity comes this week. All right. Observe, don't absorb. And that is how we end this reading. Observe, don't absorb. If you are taking on the stress of others, try observing the situation from a distance. This will increase your energy. Stand in the observer position right? Observe, don't absorb, especially during this really intense time of political climate change. Um, then we've got, uh, the actual climate <laughs> issues. We have just people being displaced. Um, a lot of truths coming forward, scandals breaking out, things like Diddy. So, you know, something to think about. Don't get so swept up in it. Things are going to be televised over and over again to make us feel some sort of way. All right. Observe it. Don't absorb it. If you're seeing the same five second media over and over again, that's the only clip. Think about it. Okay. If you are taking on the stress of others, try observing the situation from a distance. This will increase your energy. All right, Scorpio, overall, I felt this was a really amazing reading. There's new opportunity coming this week. There is somebody coming towards you. It's almost like they're, they're observing you from afar. They um, are feeling like hesitant, maybe unsure, but don't change anything about yourself, Scorpio. You've done a lot of work to build yourself up to be this confident, strong being, right? Anyone coming towards you should be able to match that. All right, Scorpio, thank you so much. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave some comments below. I do read each and every one of them. If you're looking for a personal reading again, head over to my website at starswithstasi.com. And as always, please remember that we are all stars from the sky with feet on the ground, doing the best we can with the information that we have. So be kind to yourselves and each other, Scorpio. And until next time, may the magic that we weave and the world words that we speak, bring healing to all those who seek it, shine brightly, and have a great week ahead.